Hello, and welcome back to my small part of the universe. My name is Hailstone. Today, we will be covering a mind-bending topic, and one I don't think even I was ready for. So please, sit back, relax, and let us begin. I have encountered a myriad of spectacles over the last 72 hours. The notes are numerous, and time was short. So I hope I have gathered enough info to start discussing this in detail. I could never predict there were any pristine agents left in whatever condition that being was capable of exerting over them. Formerly, I had assumed that the crawlers or crawlers were feral descendants of the ancients, and from a glance, I still think there might be a strong indication of the two having some form of relation. But for now, I will detail the ancient as its own separate entity from my earlier theories. Anatomy of the Ancient Without being able to directly interact or dissect an ancient, this is a hard topic to approach. The entirety of their beings are covered in a dark algae-encrusted armor, so I couldn't even begin to understand what they might look like on the inside. The suit of the ancients covers their entire being, with most of the suit appearing ribbed in the looks of its texture, mostly in the areas of the arms and the chest down to the tail end of the suit. There seems to be damage across the suit in many areas, with algae covering it in small patches, though there are great discrepancies in two areas. Ones that seem to have become transparent and seem to be showing a type of glowing blue circuitry or implants hidden beneath the suit, possibly implying intense and heavy augmentation of the ancient's biological forms, perhaps leaving little to no true organic bits left. Other areas on the suit seem to indicate heavy or thick armor plating, possibly used to protect the more sensitive cybernetics, meaning these suits would have had to been treated to survive in a wide range of different environments, especially to protect the augmentations that the ancients could have had. The head of the creature seems to be locked in a fixed position with a large cranial extension protruding out of the back of the ancient's mask, and a breathing tube fused to the front of the mask, extending down and connecting into the chest. It's hard to say what the extended portion of the ancient's head contains. It could just merely be a large head or more room for augmentations to the brain. Aside from this, there are five white light-emitting nodes on the front of the mask assorted near the top of the breathing tube. I believe these nodes serve as the visual input for the ancients, effectively being its eyes. The overall shape of the ancient is remarkably similar to that of the crawler, though noticeably bigger than the standard specimen. Both share a long, thin body that droops down into a fin, and two long, tendril-like limbs, though that is where the visual similarities end due to the thick black suits that cover the ancient's being. Genetic Mastercy and the Cybernetic Aberrations of the Ancients I think what possibly terrified me more than what I saw at the end was that of the heavily augmented endworm that was present in the structure, and not just because of the creature itself. In a way, I almost feel bad. The poor thing bore heavy armor and implants that seemed to be haphazardly grafted on in order to create some form of guardian. The subject was either a young endworm, or one that was torn in half. The jaws and armor plates had been ripped off and replaced with weaponry and light blue armor plating. I am amazed. Not only were they able to take control of an endworm, but heavily modify it and move it on board their ship. If this is what a slapshot, rushed, cybernetic conversion looks like by them, I tremble in fear for what they might be capable of otherwise. The Downfall of the Ancients At least we finally have a reason for why we don't see them elsewhere. As previously stated and very obvious to boot, the Ancients were an incredibly advanced species, and we finally know why they disappeared into the night, leaving behind copious amounts of advanced technology in their wake. Thanks to a small translation disc that was found in the alien ruins, we have recently been able to understand some parts of the ancient's language, if only partially. The two I did manage to come across detailed two things. Life incubated under ice. Consciousness forms. Knowledge compounds. Civilization develops. Insulated from danger. 
A singer is born. An audience gathers. Untranslatable spreads. Outgrows the cradle. A fortress is built to protect, to house. At first, I believe these alien writings to one, detail the possible origin of their species, and a slight glance at their evolution, and two, their discovery of Jove and the downfall it brought with it. But then something clicked in my head, something that the ancients spoke to us mentioned. Through their desire, it was born, and through their arrogance and their folly did it grow. These writings were talking about the creation of Jove. They built that grotesque being. At this point, I am convinced the ancients are not native to Europa. Even the entity calls them as much. They were builders, explorers, and inventors. I believe those it refers to as the devoted are what's left of a exploratory mission and not a colonizing force, nor the main civilization, but were tasked with finding new worlds to colonize and materials to use. And there was something on Europa that stopped them from what they were doing, and I believe that was Dementonite, or at least partly. A strange and bizarre metal, Dementonite is often described as being a strange living metal, and simply holding it instills a unease of the self. Dementonite can be extracted from a variety of alien technology, being key components in their tools and weapons, and even the psychosis artifacts. And along with the other exotic materials that can be found on Europa, these promised leaps and bounds in advancement for their species and technology. And with this in hand, the ancients were whipped up into a fervor. Ancient outposts were set up in the deepest regions of Europa, often just right next to the abyss, right outside the territory of whatever dwelled within it, in order to survey the local resources. As well, incubation pods were brought down Moonside to study the rich and odd biodiversity. It is possible that the ancients are not naturally telepathic, but something unique to the ones on Europa. They saw something within the Watchers, the ability to rally the local fauna into doing its bidding, and sought that for themselves. Leaving behind the translation disc as their old medium, they combined Watcher DNA with Dementonite, and much like the Watchers themselves, acquired the ability to communicate solely with their intent and thoughts. Though, as further advancements like this were made, the ancients began to covet and worship their very advancements, turning zealous and perhaps in an attempt to advance themselves further, the ancients began to build a god, a bizarre homunculus that could perhaps show them the deepest inner workings of reality, and using the exotic materials, wealth of genetic material, and their own advanced technology, constructed a massive creature that is now known to us as Jove. For whatever reason they created Jove, whether it to be merely a figurehead for their achievements, or something to peer into the deeper parts of the universe, it ultimately became their undoing. As the devoted became dogmatic, they caused a schism between them and the rejected, those that refused to listen to the enthralling song of Jove. This resulted in the devoted purging ancient outposts across the moon using the few weapons that they had to chase off or kill those that rejected Jove's influence, and then converted parts of the old outposts into makeshift sites of worship by carving glyphs and makeshift writings into the walls, showing Jove as almost a godlike figure, something that needed to be worshipped. And perhaps they even used the rather benign artifacts as a medium to worship Jove from afar, treating them as sacred and locking them deep within certain outposts. As time went on, I believe that Jove was either built or taken to the ancient ship, likely in orbit around Europa. But at some point around that time, Jove's song had effectively made them inert, preventing them from doing little else other than listening and wandering around in a malaise. With no one left to pilot the ship or make the necessary repairs, 
the ancient's ship may have eventually slid out of orbit and into Jupiter's upper atmosphere, creating the red eye of Jupiter about 500 years ago. And due to the teleporter on the ancient's ship still being linked to the one on Europa, and perhaps due to a lack of maintenance over time, this created an anomaly that started to funnel in Jupiter's radiation into the European Ocean deep below the ice shell surface that would have otherwise blocked it, with the radiation in question only becoming a problem fairly recently. Ending Collective Thoughts At this point in time, I do not think that the Ancients are native to Europa, and are instead what remains of an old terraforming or mining colony, and when they tried to return Jove to their homeworld, or perhaps take it mother knows where, for whatever reason, it was then the devoted stopped in their tracks, their magnum opus trapping them with the song for eons. As well, I am now more confident than ever that the crawlers are indeed the ancients, specifically descended from those who rejected Jove's song and were driven off by the devoted, over time losing their suits, culture, and very minds, becoming nothing more than the feral droves of crawlers and scattered broodmothers that we see today. On the subject of Jove, I am sure that they built that monstrosity, but regardless of it being built, I am still unsure of what it is, and for now, that will have to be a subject for another time. Thank you for watching another one of my videos. It has been a interesting and tiresome experience to look over everything regarding Jove and the Ancients. And thankfully, or fortunately, it's nowhere near done. And until next time, please have a nice and great safe week.